What's up, YouTube family? So I just want to show you guys the bugs that we're going to be eating are up close first. We have tarantula, scorpion, tarantula, scorpion. Everybody has a pair. I got a couple. And then we got mixed bugs. I'm fucking gagging as I'm talking. I think there's maggots, grasshoppers. What other kind of bug there is? Oh, you got crickets. Crickets. Mo crickets. Silkworm and saga worms. Okay. Ugh. Look how freaking hairy these things are. Oh my god. Look at the big ass claw on the scorpion. All right, this is just a close up and let's get started. Hi YouTube family, welcome back, welcome back. Today's special guest is Chris Craig. What's going on with it everybody? You guys can check them out on Instagram. I've been following you for many, many years. Okay? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm glad. <laughs> I feel like you deserve way more credit than you get. I mean, you, in, in, in due time. Credit. In I, due time. Everything comes in due time. I really do. So I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I see a video of this black guy speaking Vietnamese and speaking Cambodian and eating all types of food. He is really down for the Asian culture, you guys. And we have a special surprise for you guys today. Chris brought us bugs tarantula scorpion all you the name good it stuff oh my god all the good stuff we're gonna go Show ahead them. let you guys see exactly what we're dealing with you see we got that tarantula right there go and we got and a that. scorpion mm. oh my god and then we got some mixed bugs we got crickets and maggots and bookworms Silk worms, field worms Look you, see at the, this you see the eyeballs on that? Dog. That's the grasshopper right there. Oh, that's so, the grasshopper. This is this is your test to see if you could survive in the jungle. Like if you could survive, like if you were stranded and there was no food, would you eat bugs to stay alive? I've eaten some weird shit in my life, but I have not tried bugs. But luckily, these are dried out. Um, there's a video that you were eating a tarantula. Oh, look at me messing up the whole thing and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It happens. So there was a video where you were eating a tarantula. Were you in Cambodia? Cambodia. You were in there? Thing, yeah. You were over there? Wow. And was it dried? No, the... See that the, was big. I tell everybody, tarantula tastes like soft shell crab. Okay. I can um, see it. The only thing that was all to me, so I have, I've had everything on this dish except the scorpion. I've never had scorpion. The silkworm is the only thing that was a little off because when you bite into a silkworm, like one of the fresh ones, you get that little gooeyness inside of it and everything. And it was like sour. And it's so crazy. I'm scared of maggots. I'm terrified of but maggots. I'm, One day I, I left the trash and I went to the o uh, Ocean City and I came home and, and I guess the meat juice. So then I came home and there was like maggots crawling up my wall. Damn. Terrified since. But also, we didn't just want to eat bugs today. I was like, oh, we got to mix something up with, with <laughs> bugs. Uh, we have some Bumba Way noodles, the big noodles. Okay. We can't even say it. Uh, I made some pork, stir fried pork and shrimp. Okay. We got lettuce, cilantro, cucumber, we got bean sprout, and we're gonna let him try the ultimate crack sauce, the kapik. There we go, there we go. I know you have kapik, you're in Cambodia, so you eat kapik. Oh, I've, I've chowed down on so much stuff. Some, I, I, some of it I don't even remember. <laughs> True story, like it's so much food, they'll just put food in front of you. Hey, here, try this, try this, try this, try this, and you just eating everything up. It's so funny, because they always watch me eat this, right? And so I did uh, one of my clients a couple weeks ago, and she's like, so I tried to order the, um, the Kapik stuff you were eating and I couldn't do it, Mimi. And I was like laughing. I was like, it's in the car. She couldn't, like, saying, she couldn't eat it or? You know she, this stuff stink. Uh, it smells like ass. <laughs> but that's the thing. When it smells, that, that just adds it's to the better. taste. It just tastes so good when it smells. Yeah, and I, you know, she was a black lady and was like, um, she was like, well, I, 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 I was like, maybe I have to get high first. And she was like, I got high and I still couldn't do it, Mimi. <laughs> I was like, it is an acquired taste. I was like, kudos to you. I rock with everything like no matter what it smells like no matter what it looks like i'm going to give it a try and from that that's when you go ahead and see exactly how damn good it tastes <laughs> i guarantee you that's why i'm so well it, open up your mind but some people just don't have the taste bud for it you yeah, know what i'm saying keep an open mind so that's why i'm really excited to do this video with you i've been wanting to meet you to do this video we're supposed to been, get together to do a video the moment is here no we are not getting no special prize for eating this damn bug <clears throat> I got some rum putanis. I got some jum jum, which is my favorite favorite fruit in the world. So first time eat any of these. All right, what should we go for first? I think we start off with the small ones. Stretch Let's is right here on the sideline watching. 
<laughs> we, we start off with, with the it. small ones. Okay, so let's start with the bugs before we eat the food. Okay. Which should we do? I want to do this cricket. You want to do? Head on. I ain't no punk. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Why does yours don't have a leg? Mine no. has Mine, a yours, leg. yours has a leg. Mine doesn't. Cheers. Mm. The smaller ones are gonna mm. be like that. Crunchy. It tastes like a, a shell. Yeah. A sunflower seed shell. Okay. So that means you could just start grabbing handfuls of them. You know what? We about to sprinkle some of this shit on here. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> we, about, we about to sprinkle some crack sauce on here. Look, it needs some flavor. That motherfucker tastes Cause flavor. Cause see when it dried out and everything like that. Yeah, like the one flavor. I had, it's like they had just fried it up and took it out. Again, I feel like we need some sriracha, some some sauce. Okay, let's okay, do which one you're of going these. With the silkworm. This is a silkworm. Okay. Shit. Silkworm. You got to get like a get a couple of them. Couple like of if them. you're gonna do a silkworm, just like get a couple of them. Yeah. I have two. Ready? All right, I got three. Cheers. That one was more powdery. Mm -hmm. When I took a bite into it, it like it burst into powder. Oh. <laughs> it's like eating drywall. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Okay. Oh, it has a burnt aftertaste. Find that find that big one. It was what that big, big one. It was that big that one right there. Get that one right there. Oh that, my god, what you, is this? I don't even know what that one is. You want half of it? No, I'll scratch it. <laughs> we hey. What is this? I'm not sure, but YOLO. It looked like a, <laughs> it looked like dry testicle skin. See, I'm trying to find one that Don't looks that look like, like yours. It looks like a scab. It definitely looked like testicle skin. Uh, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. What does that one taste like? Mm. See? Hey, don't knock it until you try it, everybody. This one has more flavor. A more nutty. A more nutty flavor? It tastes like a walnut or something. You know, when you really start trying out these bugs and everything, as you go ahead and start trying it, it's just like I could sit on a couch and just like start eating these up. Eating bugs? Yeah, I could. What did it? They look like a roach. <laughs> Growing up, I probably ate a few of those and everything. <laughs> in your sleep. <laughs> yep. Crawling right in my mouth and all. I don't know what it is. Let's see. This is a nice little grasshopper. You even see the eyes on them and everything. They well, taste like, like seeds, y'all. But. Okay. So then let's move on to the big stuff. I think we should do the tarantula first. You want to do the tarantula first? Oh my god, he has such a fat ass. <laughs> this tarantula has a fat ass, you guys. Oh my god. Look at the chest. I'm gonna have to put salt on this. So, you can't like really open it up. If you do, the legs are gonna break apart. It's like stuck so, in my teeth. This is the moment of truth right here. Oh my god, y'all. I'm about to eat a tarantula with Chris over here. He's crazy. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Ah, cheers. All right. Do I just bite it or take one bite? I mean, bite? you know, maybe take one. No, no, no I say, I say, rip his head off. Rip his head off. Just bite into it halfway, and then take the other half. So half of the body. Yeah. I ain't no punk. <laughs> Do you taste the hairs? <laughs> Do you taste the hairs? There we go. There we go. Try it. Oh, no, I'm like. Mm. It tastes like a big seed. Very dry. Yeah, it's stuck in my teeth. I can taste the hair. Oh, you need the water? All right. <laughs> I can definitely taste the hair. It doesn't stink or nothing. Mm -mm. So if you have these fresh when they just fry them, when I had this in Cambodia, legit stuff, it tastes like soft shell crab. Do not knock tarantula. If you ever get a chance to try tarantula, 
Try it. It tastes like soft shell crab. Pinky swear. If I'm lying, you can kick me in my ankle when you see me in public. <laughs> It wasn't bad. It's dried. I feel like if it was soft or it was still alive or it was boiled or something like that, it would be harder to do. Yeah. But we still got to do a scorpion. Okay. Now, I've never had the scorpion. First time. All right, guys. Me and Chris is about to take a bite of this dry scorpion. Look at the claw. Rawr, 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 rawr. Scorpion King rawr. battle fight. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's, okay. So do we, are we going to bite the whole thing? I think with this one, we could probably just kill the whole thing. The whole thing? However you want to do it, let's get it. Okay. All right. Ah, it's so hard! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it started shooting in my ear. Oh, the, oh, the claw was really hard. hard. Got the crunchiest of the crunchiest right there. Yeah. This is a thick shell. Yeah. I made a mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you have yeah. a <laughs> You want to taste, babe? No, 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 no. No, 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 So if you were lost out in the out in the wild, do you think you could just go ahead and like grab a live one? Like a live tarantula. If you knew it didn't have like poison in it and it wouldn't kill you or something. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, that's scorpion you taste that? Has the aftertaste. It has a like clams or something. Some type of seafood aftertaste. <laughs> Yo, what if right now you found out that you were allergic? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> like you just started breaking out. That scorpion was so <laughs> aggressive. Like the crunch. We did the bugs. We tried the bugs. Time to eat some real food. All right. We can. You can use this as toppings. That, that is. That's real food right there. <laughs> some people have to have that to survive. Okay. You want some bean sprout? Okay, I'm with it. Bean sprout right. on the bottom, and then we put the noodles. So all of this together, what is this dish together? Is this like a dish, or is this just like random things that you put together and like, all right, this is what we gonna have? Um, it, I feel like it's a normal dish when it's it's not with it's thinner noodles okay and it's like grilled i don't know i'm i put the stuff that i like together no that's what it's all about because my homeboys like whenever i'm hanging with the empire or whatever like they'll go ahead we gotta cook and he'll just grab like random stuff yeah i like stuff like this is all the stuff that i would put in the spring roll <laughs> okay a garden roll so this is a spring roll in a bowl yep you're gonna it's bone, but it's normally supposed to be like lighter. Yeah. So I got some pork right here, some pork belly with some some shrimp that I sauteed right before you came. And we are gonna take the spicy. You can handle spicy, right? Yeah, I can. I'm with it. I know about it. Oh, open this. This is some no pickled cabbage. Here. This stuff's I love that you know the fact that if it stinks, if it stank is good, good. don't knock it. Don't knock it till you and try it. And this shit it. right here stink. This is from my girl. Y'all can order it at Original Crack Sauce. Mmm, so good. What's your spice level? Pretty what high. Is, pretty high. Pretty high. So this is what my bowl looks like, you guys, with all of my. My noodles, my lettuce, my cucumber, my bean sprouts on the bottom, the pork, the shrimp, and the capique sauce. And we're gonna give it a good mix. All right, I'm with it. Cause the world is a mix of colors. Just look what happens when you stir it up. So Chris, like, did you first start dating an Asian girl or how did you get into, was it military or how did you get no, into No, no, it wasn't so military. Um, so Stockton, my family moved into a neighborhood where it was just all Asians in that neighborhood. And that's how it ended up happening. And at first, we didn't get along. Like, that, that's like, you know, we're talking early 90s. Mm -hmm. So blacks and Asians didn't get along. And then after how that, when we moved, how old am I? Now, 36. Okay. Yeah, so that was early 90s. And then so we moved to a neighborhood. And then after that, I got along with them. They started getting along with me. And... Food played a big part. Yes. Food played a big part. Like, you know, like, hey, I come out and come on. That's how, that's how you say black. 
Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like, hey, you want to try this or whatever? And then, like, it just, it was all love from there. And you were always willing to try the food. Hell yeah. Food brings people together. I always say it's better when we eat together. And I think that's just true universally because food really does bring people together. Like, when I was traveling through Southeast Asia, over in, you know, um, around Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, were that you traveling like for thing. fun or were you traveling for work? No, for fun. I okay. didn't when I was in the Navy, I didn't travel with in the Navy. Amazing. I want to travel. I still haven't went. I've been to Vietnam one time. Really? What part? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my family's from Wang Hai. Okay. And I've been there, I went to Saigon and stuff like that. But I haven't been back since. Mm hmm I really want to go. I want to take my kids. I want to go visit my father's grave. Mm -hmm. So like when it? was the last time you were... No, I like this, yeah. When I was 12. 12? Good? Yeah, no. It goes. You want to Is put some bugs? Is it too spicy for you? You know what? Yeah, let's throw some bugs in it. Let's top it let's off with some, some bugs. bugs. So what we're going to do right here, we're going to take some of these bugs, take a little bit of these bugs left over, right? And we're going to go ahead... And just it just drizzle them lightly over. You just want to go ahead and add a add a couple for some crunchiness. Yeah. For texture. Oh, I oh, got another one. I got one. I got that one that you were talking about. The testicle skin. I don't know. It does look like testicle skin. <laughs> if you see it, it does look like testicle skin. I don't know what it is exactly. It tastes like it has a foodie taste. You know, that one is the one I think, uh, that one has the most flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got, you got right here. You got right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I ain't gonna let you go through the whole video, you know, just when they're like, damn, I mean, come on, eat it up. I don't know if my spice <laughs> level getting weak. I'm, I'm hearing you over here, like. I also, I ate a sandwich and the bread was kind of rough, so I like cut the roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that makes everything hotter. The burn. Let's do a thing. Let's throw more spice on it. You can do that. I don't feel like being on a tournament. <laughs> I did that one chip challenge and I was hurt. My friend was just telling me about that last night. She was telling me about the one chip challenge and I had never heard about it. I was hurt. She said she was able to handle it, but everybody else in her squad, they was like drinking up. It was hours later, like a nighttime for me. Mm -hmm. Woke up out of my sleep. Burning on fire, I had to put my stomach on the floor. I drank a whole bar of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I was hurt. No, I think I, I think I'm a go allergic to like ghost pepper or okay. cal 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 calorina reaper. Oh, cal I know cal what you're talking about. Calorina, yeah. Carolina. Carolina reapers. Mm -hmm. Where can you get them from? What the one chip? Mm. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. Carolina reaper. It's the ingredient inside of there. Okay. And I think I'm allergic because I was dying on the inside. Mm. But I love this dish. He got bugs. More bugs. I really... Pass me pickle. Got you. When the time comes, I really want you to try one that's just like... Like a tarantula uh -huh. that's just fried. I guarantee you, you'll be like, damn, he was right. It tastes like soft shell crab. Mm hmm. I, I get it from eating that. No, I had soft shell crab. Other than what you just had, what would be the wildest thing you think you've had to date? I would like eating? Yeah. This um. Would people, it be balut? I mean, people, like, people think balut is so crazy, but you know, I grew I up balut, eating balut. No, yeah, balut isn't crazy to me at all, at all. I will. You know, American stereotypes. They're like, oh my god, you're eating a raw, raw, raw. Like, it's not raw. It's cooked. Mm. Oh. It's just not chopped up. I don't think balut is that crazy. I don't. But and it tastes I so some good. Asian, I do know some of my Asian homies. They don't. Some of them don't mess with it. No? Yeah. Not every 
Culture. Yeah. Another thing is some some people don't even eat pork blood, mm -hmm. which I think is really weird. Inside the bumbo web. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, uh, like you know, they, they don't eat pork blood. You know what I realized? In my group of friends, the more ratchet they are, the more hood they are, the more stinky and Asian stuff they eat. They're down with everything. Yeah. And the people who are, you know, from actually Vietnam and like not really hood, yeah. they don't eat any of that stuff. They're like, ew, Darian, you eat that, it stink. Or the, or the sauce. They don't even eat this. They're like, oh my God, this stink. That's not how I'm rolling with it. But all of my hood Asian friends eat all of it. Mm. Did you want this one? Ah, no, thank you. You sure? All you. It's all you. Make the moment. Ooh, you can, you can eat. I want to know, can you see the hairs on them, everybody? <sighs> nah, I not really, but ooh, that one's a hairy one. That's so crunchy. That scorpion was serious. You hear? It's <coughs> <one's> okay. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> when you take a bite into the bugs um it like turned into powder like drywall yeah so it stuck up all your saliva so that's why he choked on it <laughs> <laughs> but this scorpion that scorpion is this, hard say, this feel like y'all seen the the 15 pound lobster video i just did this little claw feel like the claw from that because it's so hard what? You're so loud. It's like, yeah, that's that's crunchy. That's crunchy and hard. Excuse me. Or is that the other claw? Oh, I think that's the tail. I think my spiciness is getting weak, y'all. Like, he's not even on fire. Natalie ate this and she wasn't even. Because I, I had a white girl when well, she was Russian. She came onto my YouTube and she was eating the peak by the spoon. And was in phase. She's like, you have something else that's more spicy? I was like, <laughs> what? I was so impressed. I was really impressed. Maybe my spicy is getting weaker as I'm getting older. Let's hope not. I think so, because I've been having stomach problems now. Do you not, but you still be putting spice in on a regular. But I have to eat spicy with everything. Yeah. yeah. So Chris, do you have kids? Do you have children? Tell us about yourself. Kids are against my religion right now. Okay. Yeah. Eventually, I just want to go ahead and get everything established first. Like, you know, really go ahead and get my stuff together, get me together before I think about having a family. Like right now, I was focused on, you know, going ahead and getting everything in place with my career. So when I do meet that somebody, okay, they know exactly what they're getting into. What do you do for a living? Well, Right now, it's social media and then Uber on the side or whatnot. Okay. And so now that I'm back from Stockton, well, from taking care of my grandma and everything, doing that, now it's back to really focus on what I'm trying to do just as far as building everything up and uh, exposing people to the culture. Right. Exposing people to Tell culture. Tell everybody where they can find you at on um, YouTube. Uh, if it's YouTube, you're or searching Instagram. Instagram, you go ahead, C Crave, handle. C crave is C, forever. C, spell it. So C and then crave like you crave food mm -hmm. is forever. C crave is forever. Indeed. Yeah, I've been seeing you eat some bomb ass food. I love food. Especially at a Laos place you went the other day. Oh, yeah, that's that spot, really that's good. That looked really good. That was really good. That was really good. Their, their mild was still, their mild hit pretty spicy. Yeah. Uh huh. So I'm curious what the whole thing would have been like. That's some really good Thai food the other day. Where at? Um, I go get my nails done. I mean, my nail tech, we go eat every time I go get my nails done. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but it was so good. What's I your... like it when it's authentic. Like, I like my papaya salad spicy. What's your favorite spot out here? Um, I don't feel like I've been to everything. Have you been to the 66 market? I'm going this weekend. I want to go this weekend too, like, cause I know it's gonna be gone after this weekend. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's one more weekend. I want to say it's one more weekend, but I am going to the. What is the hours tomorrow? tomorrow? I, I have to buy a ticket, to right? Up. You gotta buy a ticket. Um, but the six two six night market has so much bomb food. Oh, I see it. I, I see it on TikTok. I see it on Instagram. Now, if you go, 
I say probably go like sometime during the day. Yeah. Like the day before it comes evening, because at nighttime, uh -huh. your line is like Crazy. 30 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute lines. Like, no lie. That's what it feels like. Like, and then that on top of you waiting for your food. And it's hot. Yeah. So when it comes to you, number one dish to cook. To cook? Yes. Spaghetti. Number one dish. Spaghetti. <laughs> really? Spaghetti is your number one dish to I, cook? I have an obsession with spaghetti. <laughs> that, that's a shocker to me. That's a shocker to me. I eat spaghetti like almost every week. And I feel like it's just me that eats it. I eat a whole pot to myself. <laughs> I eat it for like a good four days in a row. Like I just eat now you spaghetti. Bring up, now you bring like childhood memories. My dad used to cook spaghetti for us because I'm the youngest of five, and mm -hmm. then there's two half sisters under. But they didn't live with us. But in the house was five kids, and he would cook. So seven total in the house. They cooked this big thing of spaghetti, mm -hmm. and we would eat that for like four oh, or five days. And then after like third day, you're, we start putting ketchup in it because yeah. the flavor starts going away. I I love spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> um, with me, you know, I have not cooked a meal at my apartment in over a year and eight months. Well, oh, cause you're always out eating. Cause I'm always out, you know, or I'm I'm at a friend's house and they're cooking or something. You like fruits? Oh yeah, I love those things. Oh, mm. I found some lychee grapes today. Okay. It was this little container. It was like eight fucking dollars. My mouth was yeah, on fire. <laughs> it was like every word. And I found some lychee. And you're not even spicy. And you know, <laughs> and, you know, it was so fucking. And it's just really. And you done drank the whole bottle of water. Here, you want mine? <laughs> I'm like on fire, y'all. We had know. the same amount in ours. Getting weak out here in these streets. Um, yeah, but oh, so it, you just bite yours open. Mm, we okay, do. I didn't cut do it. it. Just bite in half. Yeah, ball game. Okay. But anyway, it was an eight dollars for this container, and it said lychee flavored grapes. Yeah. But when I taste it, it tastes like cotton candy grapes. Ah, I hate cotton candy grapes. I uh, like it. It's interesting. I don't. I've had them before. It's a little bit more on the sweeter side. Um. Mm -mm. It's not like I can't eat them. I just I wouldn't prefer them. That's for sure. Mhm. Mm Let's play like that. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. right. We'll clean it up. Oh. <laughs> Still. I nose, body, everything. The breath. <laughs> I honestly feel like ever since after that one chip, I have just been hurt. I haven't been the same. How long ago was that chip? At? How long ago did you do the one chip challenge? At the beginning of this year, the beginning of this year, I've just been weak out here, though. Like my my intestines are, <laughs> I'm finally like crashing. What about when it comes to uh, papaya salad? How many peppers you throw in that? Um, I don't really order. I tell them give me spicy. Okay. Mhm. Mm but I I still love spicy. No matter how much my stomach hurt, I still want spicy. My son eats spicy. Okay. So. I am growing spicy food. Yeah. But I don't I don't really like spiciness when it comes to like my noodles. What like what kind my of noodles? Cathil pho, stuff like um, that. Why you like to taste the flavor? Yeah. Mm. Right there. I like spicy. On the other side, ball game, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't crush. Are you full? You want some more? I'm gonna go right here. How'd you like the meat? Gonna, the meat is good. Okay. The dish together, all of it's yeah, that was that was good. Yeah, it goes together. So tell me, if the opportunity comes to you, make a trip back to Asia, and they got live, not live tarantulas, but freshly fried This tarantula. motherfucker keep wanting me to eat tarantulas. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> will, will you try the, the freshly fried one to see what it, the yes. taste is? Okay, all right. I, I would try anything. Uh, well, is it a snack that I'd be like, oh yeah, definitely pick that, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to get stuck in my teeth. One thing I recommend to anyone out there. Would you? Do you just eat this on a regular day? Um, when I go to like some of the like uh, New Year in Saginaw, Texas, mm -hmm. they had crickets and they had like, you know, crickets in the thing. Mm -hmm. I got that and I was just walking around eating crickets. 
No. Because a lot of the stores, if they sold it at a lot I've of the stores I've seen they have here, like um, cheese flavor, ranch flavor. I've seen it when I was um, driving back from, from Vegas at a gas station. So yeah. we buy some. If they had it at a store over here, I'd eat it on a regular. Mm -hmm. Like rat how, rather than watching a movie. I thought you popcorn. said rat just now. I oh, said no. rat. <laughs> But I would eat. What did he say? No, but I would eat anything as long as I would try something as long as I know it wouldn't kill me. Have you had snake yet? I haven't had snake, but I would eat snake. I haven't had snake. Would either. you eat snake though? As long as it's not a whole. I can't get over the the shape. I've seen other snakes. Oh. Anything <laughs> slithering, no. like eel. I eat eel because it's cut up in the sushi. Yeah. But when I eat eel, it was in, in a full form. It's the shape for me. No. It is the slitheringness. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the noodles are shaped like that, so I don't know. I, I would eat snake. Mm -hmm. I want to try it. Um, I've had venison, deer. Yeah, I had deer. Mm -hmm. I had rabbit. And then okay. I've had rabbit. I had rabbit empanadas in Puerto Rico, but I did buy a, like a piece of rabbit. I didn't like the smell. Mm -hmm. um, crocodile? Did, yeah, I had crocodile bites. I mean, me and these guys used to do a crocodile video when I went back to Baltimore, and um, the crocodile got lost in the mail. And he was like, I have, <laughs> what the and he was like, I have pieces of it. I was like, no, it's not the same. I want the whole head. I want the body. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Oh, they got a, they have a the restaurant head. that do, does that. Out here? I don't know where it's at. It's somewhere, I think it's somewhere on the East Coast, but they'll cook the whole crocodile yeah. for you. Yeah, like he said it comes season. But it got lost in the mail, so it, didn't, it wasn't there when I was there. So I was like, dang. How does, how does a crocodile get lost in the mail? Yeah, so I was like, I don't want to do the video if the head isn't included. <laughs> um... So I also did a video where I went to the grocery store Okay. and I picked out the frog, the toad, and the guy killed it. Okay. And everybody was mad at me talking about I'm unhuman, da da da, whatever. They were going on me. I, was, I didn't kill the frog. He killed the frog. And the dude, that the butcher in the back, he had like one eye, one glass eye and shit, right? And he, was a, he picked the frog. He like hit it on his head, like knocked it on his head, like to kill it or whatever. And everybody was yelling at me about it, but I fried the frog. It was really good. Tastes, okay. Frog tastes like chicken. I mean, well, how the hell do they think they're they're crab and shrimp? You know, I mean, you gotta kill something. Like I can never. I have friends that are vegan, mm -hmm. vegetarian. That ain't a life for me. <laughs> that is not a I life just, for I, me. I'm a carnivore. Oh yeah. I'm a, definitely a carnivore. What is your favorite dish? What is your favorite Asian dish? Oh man, that's the biggest dagger ever. Favorite Asian dish? I just actually I don't know why. I, salama chu krum. What is that? It's like a um, it's a it's a Cambodian dish, mm -hmm. and it's like a soup, um, lemongrass. You put uh, some people put pork in it, some people put beef in it okay. instead. It's a soup. It's, yeah, mm. it's a soup, and then you put the soup over white rice. Okay. It's just something about that that I really, really enjoy. Okay. And then I love uh, the other soup would be uh, the ball. Okay. What what does that have? Another uh, that's like rice porridge basically, and that's what you're oh, gonna you're have like the pork, the pork blood, and everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's like the congee with all the all uh -huh. the intestines and shit. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. That one's good. I'm surprised you like that one out of all of them. I, it's just mm -hmm. something good. like you know simple but good mm -hmm. like you know nothing too uh too wild with it and everything crazy but so i'm vietnamese right i have five sister one brother i'm not close to them but all the people i am close with from yeah. connie to pa to paiti mm -hmm. to yaya they're all cambodians Okay. So I've always been closer with the Cambodians than I have with like my Vietnamese siblings or something like that. Um, <laughs> I know, I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't teach me no words. Like the only, the only Cambodian word I know is Mikadoi, and it's a bad. Oh yeah, it's a bad. It's a bad Mikadoi word. kumat. Like it says something like eat my pussy. <laughs> That's the only word I know. And my mom, all right. So my mom's Vietnamese, and okay. she's always been close to Cambodians too. So she used to rent out her basement to this Cambodian lady, and. My mom only speaks Vietnamese, the lady only speaks uh, Khmer. So when they hung out, they had to speak to each other in English, but neither one of them speak good English. <laughs> well, they made it work. They made it they work. They made it work. They catch the bus, they go shopping, uh, go all this stuff. And once my mom found out what Kidoi was, <laughs> she couldn't get over it because she's like, you know, that they Kidoi. And Kidoi in Vietnamese is a thigh. 
And that, so she keep pointing at her thigh. Talk about, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Well, yeah. well, it's close. It's close. <laughs> and my my dad uh, and Paiti's dad and and they were best friends, but um, but see that he's he's Cambodian, but he speaks Vietnamese. He was in in the military. Okay. So they were best friends, and they used to always go on missions and go to Trader Joe's and collect food that was like expired. They, yeah. People would give it to them, and then they'll go feed the whole hood. Like they'll just drive around feeding the whole so, hood. So so my friends have only taught you all the bad words. <laughs> That's the only word I know. Make it come on. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So hello, uh, Sul Sade. I know. I know. Lukru. Lukru? Get down, get down, sit down. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. It ran off. It's like nothing. It's like you nothing. You ate the scorpion? The scorpion is extra it. crunchy. The copy. <laughs> it's like nothing. It's like nothing. He said you opened that. <laughs> it's crunchy. The scorpion is a little bit, it tastes like a shell. You want to find your tarantula or something? I think all the tarantula the, pieces are good. No. Try the um. Yo. I got the attraction out of my mouth. Look, eat this grasshopper. He has eyeballs. No. <laughs> you good? I don't want to eat no more bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you want some? All right, well, we're done. Well, you guys, thank you, Chris, for well, coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you for prepping the food and you everything. Know, I, you know, I just want to say thank you for appreciating culture and trying. Oh, like, I definitely. see you on your channel with different Vietnamese people and Cambodian people and knowing the difference and I, enjoying the food. Yes, you guys, I do believe food brings people together. I love trying different culture food. Be open. Uh, get to learn. Don't be ignorant. Um, the world is much, much bigger than we know. True story. And so are the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> we just ate bugs. <laughs> you guys can follow him on his YouTube, on his Instagram. Check him out. Go support him. Thank you for coming. Not a problem. All Appreciate right. it. All right, you guys. Until next time. Love you guys. Go check out all my other videos on my page. Follow kids page, Juice Space, J-A-Y-Y. Bye, guys. It stinks.